guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill, and today I'm gonna show you how I decorated this cake, so stay tuned. So the first thing I did was just stick the bottom layer on and I flipped it upside down and I made sure that the cake was straight and then I'm just adding some homemade white frosting to it so let's just add a little bit more I am NOT a pastry chef by any means I just like to make them at home it's a little hobby of mine it's it's fun a little bit more frosting like that there we go that looks good so what I'm gonna make today is I'm going to be making a fruity pebbles cake and inside the cake levels I just put um some sprinkles to give it that kind of look that fruity pebbles is I'm just gonna lay a few of these on the top just to give it that crunch Okay, then I'm going to add the next layer and this is what it looked like like I told you with all the little layers so there's the next layer well sure it looks straight I'm gonna add another big clump of this frosting now what I'm gonna start doing is put a thin layer of frosting all over the cake and it's called your crumb coating And if you get if you get crumbs in it, that's fine because that's why it's called your crumb clothing. Might actually have to make some more frosting because I don't think I made enough. Put this over here, and I make a huge mess when I do this huge mess like I said right now we're not going for prettiness we're just trying to get a very thin layer of frosting on it Let's just take this little plastic thing and I'm just going to scrape it against the cake just to make sure I've got it frosted pretty good. I would say pretty much perfect so I am going to stick this in the fridge for half an hour and while I do that I'm gonna make some more frosting so I'll be back okay now it's been sitting for about 20 minutes which is a good time I'm going to frost it again so like I said before we just put our crumb coating on it 
And this time I made some more frosty and I made it a lot looser. So it just wouldn't be such, it was hard. I had a hard time spreading it. mess a little bit because I have a bowl and this is when the pug's gonna get very happy I'm gonna pour some of this fruity pebbles inside the bowl and grab my hand and I'm gonna start pressing in the fruity pebbles The next thing I'm gonna do is put this in the fridge again and let it sit while I make up um, our dripping sauce. I grab white baking chocolate, half and half, in a bowl. Those in a bowl with a little kind of couple dabs of um, heavy cream or half and half or something in that consistency and thus microwave this for a little bit. Debating if I want to color that white chocolate. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's too yellow. Let's, let's color that yellow. I have some yellow right here. I'm gonna grab a little toothpick and grab some of this color. Just like that. So why I like using white is because you can dye it any color. Look at that. It is really dying. And pour this in there and my fingers are on fire. Ooh, ouch. that off to the side and put the little tab on and what I do with it start making drips just like that Again, I have blue. I'm trying to stick to the colors that are um, in Fruit Loops. that original bag cut the end of the blue one and slowly put it inside of the bag same thing with the red one and 
And your bag should look like this. And now I'm going to start squeezing. And I'm going to do some tests on the counter. Okay. of our fruity pebbles and just put them on like that and there you go a cute cake isn't that adorable so let's cut into this and see what it looks like on the inside is making a mess. Does not look good. Here it is. It is very pretty. It's a lot of cake. So let's just take a little bite. Mmm. Good, you can really taste the fruity pebbles. I know. Mm-hmm. Bon appetit. <laughs> 